1985, comrade Alexei Payetnov creates Tetris. This makes him single-handedly responsible for half the lousy flash games of internet and for imprinting Korobeniki on the world's collective unconscious. In 1986, lying heretic Hope calls the raising of standing army. Virus devastates world's population. Every mountain and island is removed from its place. Moon turned to blood and glorious comrade CPZ Gamer is born. In 1989, Comrade Alexei Payetnov decides to play four games of Tetris at once, only with severely broken physics, making him single-handedly responsible for welters and blowing minds of filthy, decadent democracies in West. Here ends lesson. Tune in tomorrow for next lesson, Worker and Parasite Make Baby. Homework for tomorrow is Overthrow the West. End it! Fuck! Hush! So, yeah. Well, just doesn't really need much of an introduction. It certainly doesn't need an elaborate introduction like that one, which is a shame, really, because I put four hours of research into that. Anyways, if you've played Tetris before, and, let's face it, anyone who hasn't at this point is an alien communist, you likely know how the game works. Bricks fall from the sky, and if you make a line, they vanish. You keep going until you die. However, rather than dropping down a chute, the Tetrominoes in this game crawl along the walls, ceiling, and floor of a corridor, aligning themselves along an 8x8 grid at the end of said corridor. If you can get a line, either horizontal or vertical, the line will vanish, and this continues until you get a game over. Getting a game over is actually much trickier than it may seem. If you can't fit your Tetromino into the square at the end of the corridor, one of the four walls will white out, and you won't be able to use it. This can get particularly bothersome if you block off two opposing walls, since you aren't able to move the bricks around as much as you would like, and certainly not as much as you need to. Welchus is pretty forgiving though, and you only get a game over when all four walls overflow. And even then, if a wall does overflow, it will unlock itself after a few bricks drop, and you can use it again. The traditional tech promenos are still there, but the game also includes a bunch of additional pieces. As well as the standard seven pieces you know and love, we now have bricks made of anything from two to seven squares. They have some interesting shapes, and this, coupled with the fact that you can split the Tetrominoes in two by dropping them on a corner, means you'll have to think so much more than you did when playing Tetris Classic. Every 15 lines, you get a bonus brick. I think they meant this to be a magic bullet of sorts to help you knock off some of those lines you just can't reach, but given the brick's awkward shape, it's usually just a pain in the ass. It's the video game equivalent of running a marathon, but breaking one of your toes every few miles, just to give you that much more of a task to complete. But why should you complain? Hurt is just weakness leaving frail proletariat body. Pain is temporary. Glory of motherland is forever. Egi mahon mi karnitinak sonak. Shell me doma nemako. Esi bayotat hoi tene. Kene valmi noyon fontazon. Sorry. Sorry. It's got a bit... Carried away with red power there. So... Yeah. As well as changing the way you think, the new bricks mean that the gameplay is affected too. The original Tetris allows you to play for hours at a time, even forever, if you're good enough. Uh, but games of Weltris are usually quite a lot shorter. Wait, is it really harder to be shorter than forever? Ah, whatever. To be honest, the game's pretty minimalist. Um, you remember how Tetris had different designs and colours for each brick? Well, the bricks that its younger sister uses are all plain white squares. Not only that, but the limited colour palette only shows one picture as you're playing the game. In all fairness, I did read a review which said there were several pictures in the game, uh, it may be just be the case that I can't access them. You know, it seems like the game designers thought, hey, people bought Tetris in droves, we only need to say that this is a Tetris game to win them over. Like, they even neglected to put any music in, for that matter. But you know what? That doesn't matter, because you will still, STILL be hearing that music as you play this thing.
And with that little earworm implanted, my work here is done, and it's time to bid you guys adieu. If you can find a copy of Waltress, I recommend giving it a go. It'll be a little tricky to get hang of the controls, but once you do, you'll find something that really gets your mind in gear. So until next time, das Vidanya. <laughs>